Welcome to Eleanor Dawn Makeup. Today I'm going to show you how to create this nice fresh face makeup look which is quick and easy and has a nice glow to it. So let's get started. Now to start this look I've removed all my makeup and I've applied eye cream and a moisturizer and now what I'm going to do is go in and pop just a lip balm on there so this is a Lucas Pore Pore ointment just onto my lips just to prep them so they're nice and soft when I want to pop on some lip color a little bit later on. Now we're going to go in and start with our base. Today I'm using a MAC BB cream. I've just purchased this one the other week. Um, they've brought out some new darker colors so this is great for my skin tone. I like to use BB cream during the week when I don't have any special events on as it's nice and light. It gives my skin a nice coverage but it's not too heavy on my skin which is also great for this fresh look. Now I'm going to apply the BB cream as I would with applying foundation on myself. So I've just popped a little bit on my hand here and I'm just going to dab it onto my face. Just getting it ready to spread out. Then I'm just going to go in and blend it all evenly over my face. So as you can see, my skin has a nice lift, it's nice and a light coverage, but it's just slowly evening out my skin tone. Now I'm going to go in with a concealer, I'm just using a MAC concealer today, it's a studio finish, and I'm just going to use this to cover up any imperfections that I have around my face, but leaving out this under eye area as I'm going to go in with a different concealer for under here. Now you can use your fingertips to apply concealer if you like, if it's on yourself, or you can use a brush. Today I'm going to go in with my fingers first then I'm going to blend it in with a brush. So if this is your own personal makeup then you can do this technique. So I'm just going to go in and touch up any little flaws that I can see. So maybe around my chin area where I have a little bit of redness. Underneath my nostrils here which tend to get a little bit red. and just a few other little spots that I've seen. So I've covered up just my little blemishes I've seen around my face. Now I'm gonna go in with an under eye concealer. So I'm a big fan of our MAC Prep and Prime range. Today I'm actually using two colors just because I wanna mix it up a bit. One's a little bit too dark but one's a little bit too light for my skin tone at the moment. So I'm gonna mix these together and these are Prep and Prime highlighter pens this color is bright forecast and this is light burst. So I'm going to mix these together on my hand here and then apply with a brush. So I've got the mixed colors on my hand. So with my brush here, I'm just going to apply this to my under eye area. And don't be afraid to mix colors together, whether it be foundations or concealers, because sometimes the perfect color doesn't exist for your skin tone and you might need to mix a couple to make it just right. And I do that often. So I'm just going to apply this concealer under my eyes here. What I might actually do is just dab a bit on underneath my eye and then blend it in. And I'm going right up to the edges here and right up to my lash line. And as you can see, I'm even just going right up to the edge of my eyelids and even up into the inner corner of my eye, which is fine, just to give this whole area a bit of a lift. And as you can see, my eyes look a bit lifted and it's just a nice even coverage on my face. So now that I've applied my foundations and my concealers, I'm happy with my coverage. I'm going to seal this with a translucent powder. This is a MAC one as part of the Prep and Prime collection. It's one of my favorites and it's just a nice translucent setting powder. So I'm just going to dust this on my brush and powder this all over my face. And what this will do is set my foundation and my concealer so then when I pop my other powders on top it's not going to streak and it's going to sit really nicely on my skin. Now as this look is quite fresh I'm not going to go heavy with contouring or highlighting. You can contour and highlight with this look if you like but I like to keep this look really light so I'm going to avoid heavy contouring. I'm going to do a little bit of contouring but that's just with using a MAC bronzer here 
and I'm not really going to go too heavy. I'm just going to go really light and just put a little bit of contour on my cheekbone. So I've just got a little angle tipped brush here and I'm just going to dust the bronzer on it really lightly. And I'm just going to go in and add a little bit of colour to my cheek. You can see kind of little circles just with that hollow of my cheek is in here downward. And this is just giving my look a little bit of shape but like I said I don't want to do, use too many contour or highlighting for this look. So I'm just going to keep it simple with a little bit of bronzer. Now I've popped a bit of bronzer on, got a bit of colour on my face and a little bit of a contour. I'm going to go in with a blusher. Now this is a cream blusher in a pink. This is a MAC cream blusher called Florida. And this is probably one of the key parts of this look. Is it's a kind of fresh feeling look. And so you want your cheeks to feel a little bit flushed. And you want to look like you're glowing. So for this look I really recommend a cream blush. Um, just because it's nice. And it also has a little bit of shine to it. Which is great for the texture. So with a cream blush, I'm just going to apply it like I would with a normal blush. So I've just got my brush here and I'm just going to do a few swirls on the palette. I'm just going to lightly rub onto my palm here so I know what kind of intensity the colour is. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start on top of my cheekbones here and I'm just going to apply the blusher in this area. I really like this cream blusher just because it has a really nice intense colour. Um, what you can do, so I'm just doing little circles around here, if you feel like the colour is getting a bit too intense, you can just rub it off on your wrist here, which I do often, just to kind of break up the colour a bit. And then what you can do is just blend the colour that you already have on your face downwards. And as you can see, as it's a cream, it's just giving it a nice light texture with a bit of shine into it. I'm just going to apply the same technique on my other side. So I've got my blusher on. It's a nice flush to the cheeks. It looks nice and it looks healthy. So I am going to add a bit of shimmer to this look just to kind of emphasize that fresh look and feel. This is a MAC highlighter and shimmer. It's called Soft and Gentle. It's also one of my favorites and it is in the mineralized skin finish See, I've just got a brush here and I'm just going to apply the shimmer by just rubbing the palette and then I'm just going to dust it on top of my cheekbones here and kind of a little bit on the blush itself just to kind of blend it in a bit. So I'm just going to start where my temple is and work my way down here. And I'm just dusting lightly also on little semicircles as I make my way down here. And I'm repeating that on the other side. And as you can see, it's just giving me a little bit of a glow. And I'm also going to do really, really lightly, is just dust a little bit on here and rub the excess off. And just do a little swirl in the middle of my forehead, down my nose, and on my chin here. Now I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows. Today I'm actually using an eyebrow gel pomade. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I really recommend it. It's just a gel pot, so it's a gel texture instead of your normal eyebrow pencil. I find it really nice and creamy and great to put on the eyes. Now I've zoomed it up a little bit here just so you can see exactly what I'm doing on my eyebrows. So I've got my eyebrow brush here, which is nice. It's just going to make sure that my eyebrows are nicely brushed into shape before I start adding a little bit of definition to them. So I'm just going to brush my eyebrows first. Then I'm going to go in with my eyebrow pomade here and I've got a straight tipped brush here. So it's a thin brush. You can use this for um, eyeliner as well but today I'm using it for my eyebrows and it's just got a straight edge here and it's quite thin. So I'm just going to pop some of this, dust this onto my brush here. And then what I'm going to do is just go in and draw my eyebrows in. Now for this look, I want a more fuller coverage without it being too heavy. So I'm going to really blend the um, pomade into my eyebrows as much as I can. So I'm just going to start here. What I'm going to do is go first underneath here, so the bottom of my eyebrow. 
and I'm just drawing a line like so. So it looks a bit odd, but that's going to be the help, the base to help start draw my eyebrow in. So from here, I'm actually just blending it, almost blending that line upwards and outwards into my eyebrow. And first what I'm going to do is just keep drawing along the bottom edge of the eyebrow. So I'm not going up, I'm just drawing down here. And I'm just going to draw all the way out the bottom here out to the very end. Then what I'm going to do is just pop a little bit more of this onto my brush and I'm just going to go to the top of my eyebrow now and I'm just drawing my eyebrow towards my arch really giving it that strong shape that I'm after and then what I'm going to do is draw downwards from my arch meeting up to that tip at the end. As this gel is creamy, it's really easy to blend, which is what I like about it. What I'm going to do is just fill in some spare space here, which I can see. Now what I'm going to do is work on this front area. I don't want it to be too heavy, so I'm just going to lightly, using a corner, gently buff up the product that's already there to give the front of my eyebrow a nice soft edge. I don't want a heavy edge for this look. So I'm really just lightly dusting the colour in there, like so. Then what I'll do is just go back with my brush, brushing quite heavily, I'm just brushing my eyebrows back again. And this is going to help also blend that colour in to give it a nice natural look and feel. So as you can see, it's just a little bit more full than my other brow. It's a little bit thicker and it has a nice shape without looking too done up. So I'm just going to repeat that on my other eye. So that's my eyebrows done. Now I'm going to go in and just do a little bit around my eyes to bring them out a bit and also add a little bit more shape to my eyebrows. To do my eyes today, I'm actually just going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow duality pencil and it's got two colors on here so there's a nice matte whitish color and a nice bronzy color so with those together it's going to help create a nice light highlight around my eye so first I'm going to go in with my eyebrows and with this pencil I'm just going to draw underneath my eyebrow here just to bring it out a little bit more so what I'm doing is literally just drawing a line underneath my eye like that can see and then I'm just going to blend it in with my finger as it is really really creamy and it just blends in perfectly then what I'm going to do with the more shimmery end is just quickly go over a little bit where I drew it really lightly and just blend it in to add a soft shimmer which will catch the light when I'm outside and I'll pop a little bit just above my eyebrow here as well to really again give me a nice fresh glowing look. Now I'm not applying any eyeshadow to this look today but what I am going to do is just use this pencil with the shimmery end and I'm just going to pop some in the inner corner of my eye here and also just in the inner corner and in the first quarter of my eyelid like so. And what that's doing is just adding a little bit of shimmer to my eye and lifting them up a bit. And that's actually all I'm going to do to my eyelids today. What I'm going to do with my eyes just to finish them off is just use a little bit of mascara. Today I'm using a Maybelline mascara and it's called Definer Lash and it's a nice volume mascara. So I'm just going to pop this on my upper and lower eyelashes. Now you can curl your eyelashes if you like. Today I'm just going to pop it on as it is, as that's what I'd probably do if I was wearing this look out the door for work. Now I'm going to go in with a lipstick. This is an Aaliyah lipstick from Kate's Boutique. And this colour is called Blossom Lady. It's a really nice light colour. And what I want for this look is I don't want anything too bright or heavy. I just really want a nice natural colour. Now with this look, if you wanted to play on the pink, you could pop on a nice bright pink colour just to make everything look fresh and wow. But for today, I'm just popping on a nice light 
neutral pink colour. It does have a little bit of a pink tone to it, but it's nothing too heavy. So there you have it. This is your fresh faced makeup look. A really nice look to apply for the day or through to the night as it's nice and glowing and pretty natural. All the items that I've used today are listed below and if you have any questions, pop me a note on my Facebook page or send me an email or visit my website. Thank you for watching.